Welcome to Artist Table TV, TTTV. Here we are. Here I am. And uh, today is, uh, this is not, a, uh, it's kind of sort of a rebroadcast, although it's live rebroadcast, because quite honestly, we had a little technical difficulties earlier, and we're going to try and reboot here and see what we can do. Tali is somewhere here. We kind of wondered where is Tali today. We always wonder that because she is always somewhere in the world. And hopefully she will be able to come on here in a second and let us know just where she is. Here she comes. Okay, great day. Hello, Tali. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, that is the best news I've heard all day. <laughs> great. We... We're, we're trying to redo this broadcast, and uh, we, we were on for about 45 minutes earlier, and there was no sound, come to find out. So, okay. we're redoing it. So, the so question it, is... Oh, no, it is sound. No, I'm talking about here in Jaffa. I see that. Great. So, Tali is in Jaffa today. I'm going to put this little thing down here so you can see it. Wonderful, wonderful. So we saw some of the, I'm going to yes. put this uh, full screen because uh, it's like worth seeing. The sound on your end is much better too, For the, by the way, Tali. I really hear but yeah. I, for that occasion, I, I left my family behind, so I won't stay long and I would have to leave you soon, but I'm Jaffa. Okay. Well, great. This is our uh, Tali on the Streets reporter in Jaffa. Uh, and so right. thank you for joining us and thank you for confirming that we have sound here in America. And so that's really great. You Ross, know. you do remember that space. That I, space I remember here. Urbano really well. Yes. Uh, what are you eating in there? Nearly the same what you ate, but uh, with egg, a bit, a bit something cooler today. It's very hot. Oh, okay. So, I will go in and okay, say hi to everybody go. for me, and uh, we'll see you. As I will tell everybody, uh, our next show will be in Zvola, and so yeah. we will be in the same studio. So, until then, Tali, we will see you later. Have a great day. You too. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, that was great. It's such good news to know that we have sound today. Anyway, uh, there's a couple things that I want to cover. And we won't spend too much time on this today on this broadcast because we've already like spent a lot of time on it. But now that you can hear me, I'm excuse me, kind of excited that we're actually able to communicate. You'll notice there's a new, a new look to the studio. There's plants, new backdrop, little banner action. And so, uh, hey, Belinda's online. Hi, Belinda. She claps. Oh, so great to see you. And I, I trust you can hear me. So thank you, Belinda. All the way from Singapore. I hope all is well there. Uh, see, the artist table is worldwide. It truly is. Belinda, she writes, I can la. She can hear me. That's so exciting. On the other side of the world, I'm heard. Anyway, uh, nice to hear from you, Belinda. Hopefully see you soon. Sketchbook Show is our latest show that is just up and online. And I want to bring that up here because I want to show you uh, our, our winners. Uh, we had a first, second, and third place winner. And then I'm going to show you just a little sampling of the rest of the show. All right. So let's bring this up here. Our, our first place winner was Mario Atias. Uh, with this drawing in a sketchbook. Of course, the, the theme of this show was sketchbook. This piece is a, a pretty finished drawing of some flowers. It, actually, the name of this piece is Tselet, 
What I love about the sketchbook show is that so many people le left the bindings of their sketchbook show just to prove that it was in a sketchbook. And to me, that's just wonderful because it just, just proves the point of the, the sketchbook. And the sketchbooks are so important to us as artists uh, when we start thinking about our process and how we come up with ideas, how we record concepts and work things out. Uh, the sketchbooks end up being a really uh, important tool for us as artists. And so there's a lot of times finished artwork, a lot of times there are conceptual ideas, sometimes it's journaling. Anyhow, uh, so this was Mario. This was the, the first, he won first place. Congratulations, Mario. Next is uh, Sarit Adari and her piece called Woman and Bird, which also is a sketchbook piece. And it, but it's actually a completed composition in the in the sketchbook. You know, a lot of times we we do things in sketchbooks that maybe are a little bit chancy. But uh, I really like this one. This one won second place. Congratulations, Sarit! And the third place winner is Danny, uh, Dania Latar with her uh, sketch from life. And again, you can see the the shadows of the binding of her of her drawing pad there. And so this is a really expressive figure drawing. I'm just going to flip through here really quick, give you a preview of the um, the show because you can just go to artisttableonline.com and you can click on exhibition and you can see the whole show. And so there's lots of works from each of these artists, and I think you'll find it uh, really fascinating to see what was submitted. So. I'm just flipping through these uh, just to give you a sampling. Uh, I could talk on and on about each one of them, but each one of them are works that are done in the sketchbook. Uh, some are more obvious than others, uh, but uh, it was just really exciting to see uh, what people put together and submitted, you know, from collage to preliminary work for sculpture to doodles to journals to paintings. So I, I think you'll enjoy it a lot. And there's there's work from, um, is this artist from India to the Netherlands, to the US, to Israel. It's, uh, it was a great show. Uh, I think you'll like it. Ah, figure studies. Uh, Salman Rushdie even made it into the show. Um, so check this out. I think you'll love it. All right. Back to me. One other thing that we do here on the uh, artist table uh, is artist birthdays. Our first birthday for today, there's two of them of note. Uh, the first one is Jacques Lipschitz. He was a sculptor and he was born in 1891. Let's see. He was friends with Picasso and Modigliani. And I want to show you something here that uh, uh, in a minute, but here's some of his sculptor sculptures. Um, really bold, bold work and the lithograph. He did some lithography of some of his drawings and it, it's just really strong work. And you can see uh, the influence of Picasso, I think, and some of the, his other contemporaries uh, with him. But this is a piece that I just discovered today. I mean, I didn't discover it. I've seen this, this painting by Modigliani and I, I finally just put two and two together today. It says Lipschitz up there. And so this is a portrait of uh, Jacques and his wife, uh, Bertha, uh, done by Modigliani. And I just always appreciated this. I mean, I love Modigliani's work, but I always like loved that it just had the name uh, Lipschitz on there. And I, I wasn't sure if it was like graffiti on the wall or if it was just the, the name and Finally today, I like I figured it out that this is who it is. So happy birthday, Jacques. We love your work. Uh, somebody else whose birthday it is today is uh, Henri Cartier-Bresson, uh, who left us in 2004. He was born in 1908. 
one of my favorite photographers. He was like on the forefront of 35 millimeter photography. Uh, and so his work is really spontaneous. We see a lot of great street photography from this, this guy. Just some really beautiful portraits. Truman Capote here. Uh, but what, where he really, really shines was in his, uh, his street photography, I think. This piece in particular just like blows my mind. Uh, but I just love his work. And like I say, because he was working with 35 millimeter, he was just like really uh, spontaneous and in the moment and could, uh, it was so much more portable than other, other formats. But I just love how he was just able to always capture a mood and a moment, lovely stuff. What do we have here? And, and speaking of capturing a moment, Giacometti here, this portrait of Giacometti, I just love this. I've always loved this photo because how he captured him in the same pose of Giacometti's famous walking man uh, sculptures. And uh, that's just lovely. Happy birthday, Henri. Always glad to celebrate these birthdays and recognize the uh, – these guys that have really done some uh, amazing work. I want to talk a little bit about some science in a minute, but we'll come back to that. Uh, I just want to say that our next retreat, actually, we are going to go to Olds in the Netherlands. We'll be there uh, shortly, actually. And there's still just uh, one or two spaces left if you're interested in joining us. From the 12th to the 19th, I'm going to write that up here. The 12th to the 19th of September, you can join us. Where did it go? Oh, my. I thought I thought I put it up there. Oh, there we go. Here it is. There it is. From the 12th. To the 19th of September, you can join us in the Netherlands. And here's a group from our last year where we were at in the, in this very same location. As, as you've seen some of these pictures before, it's just beautiful grounds, beautiful places that you can paint and paint to your heart's desire. Um, lovely, lush, and green. It's going to be really great. We'll do all of our normal sort of workshoppy sort of stuff and take you around to see windmills and be able to just like paint. Not have to worry about where you're going to stay or what you're going to eat. Join us in Olst before it's too late. I wanted to uh, talk about just really quickly. Uh, I'm not really a scientist. I'm not a scientist. But I uh, wanted to... Uh, touch on this this thing that everybody's talking about or that they were talking about probably nobody's talking about it now because everybody's tired of the solar eclipse that happened yesterday here in the US it like went from the west coast to the east coast in I don't know 90 minutes or something everybody saw this thing and I was just thinking uh, on my way into the studio this morning I was trying to I didn't know what the sizes were of the sun and the moon and that sort of thing I knew the sun was like a lot bigger than the moon and a lot bigger than the earth, obviously. But it's like, how does it, how does it work out that the, like the, the moon, which is a lot smaller can like, just like cover up the sun. I know that there's distances involved, but there had to be some math. So I came in and did a little bit of research and we're going to do a little reenactment here in a minute. Former Yale professor, uh, Miles Standish, straightened us out here straightened me out when he was he said that the sun is 400 times bigger than the moon and guess what the sun is 400 times further from the earth than the moon is so with that said we're going to do a little reenactment here of the eclipse from yesterday and i i have to put this up here because otherwise you might think it's real. And this, this unlike yesterday, yesterday, uh, you can see that's me yesterday with my uh, uh, approved glasses, NASA approved uh, to protect my eyes. 
even though it kind of, I, mean, I still hurt afterwards. But uh, this is how I looked yesterday watching the eclipse. And, uh, but today, during this reenactment, uh, you won't need to because it's not really the sun. Here's the sun. Okay. Can you see that? There we go. It's the sun. It's just a standard uh, wooden plate that um, I eat from and I cut things on. But today it's the sun. Okay. And so the sun is uh, big and it's hot and you shouldn't look directly into it. But today you can look in it. So what happened in, yesterday is this, and we're going to try and get the sizes right. But yesterday, um, well, always actually, all of these like planetary bodies, you know, moons and stars and suns and planets are all moving around. And uh, sometimes I guess they run into each other, but not very often. But since they move in, every once in a while they get in the way of each other, you know, just like when your kids like stand in front of the TV or something. But anyway, so yesterday the moon was coming along and the little moon was moving along and then suddenly it was crossing in front of the sun until because the sun is 400 times further away from the earth the moon blocked the sun and so it got dark and we could see a oh, ring around the outside which we can't see very well here in my reenactment but the moon was there and it got dark and then it moved on and we could see the sun again so there you go the two different sizes the the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun but since it's 400 times no closer it can block it out how about that so much for science today hopefully everybody um nobody went blind yesterday looking at that okay um let's see i want to there was something else that i got this week uh I'm going to try, I'm going to make a new picture. Let's see if I can do that. This week, I got my new Google Cardboard. And this is a special edition, a special artist table edition of the Google Cardboard viewer camera. Are you, are you familiar with this? Okay, well... You work it with your can with your phone, and it can work with I, I I'm pretty sure every kind of phone, because Google is that sort of thing. And there's an app called Google Cardboard, and you can you can take 360 degree. Here we're gonna ups. Hold your phone in portrait mode. Well, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, I am going to uh, take a picture here and see if we can see it. I'm gonna start with my background, because it's 360 degrees. And we're gonna move around, or we're gonna take a picture of my studio. Nope, this isn't it. We're gonna try it again, one more time, sorry. Bear with me, those of you who are watching. Here, we're gonna try it again. I moved too fast. Uh, I'm trying to record everything in the room in 360 degrees and then we can put them in the goggles and see the whole thing is this virtual world uh, okay there we go oh did it not do it dang it okay what a fail i am a, it's like it's too hard. This is too hard. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'll do one that I, let's see, I don't think I can show you. I can't show you. Will, 
Uh, Belinda, you're going to bed. See you later. Okay. Good night. Okay. So anyway, you take a 360 degree picture with these, these cameras and then you like put it in this cardboard thing here and you can't see it because I'm just going to look right now. But when I look through here, I see my whole studio like in 3D. Remember those old like viewers that they used to have uh, in the turn of the century with the stereoscopes? It does it automatically because it makes uh, a double image. Yeah. Oh. And so if you're interested in one of these, it was really fun little toy. And it's just great that I just love that it's that it's cardboard. You can get it's a cardboard thing. And uh, like I say, I uh, happen to have a um, artist table custom version, uh, but played with uh, uh, virtual reality goggles. And it's like as close as you can get. Seriously, because there's you can look up and down. I don't know how it works. I just know that it does. Next week, our show will be coming straight from Zwolle, the Netherlands. Tali and I will be in the same studio. And you know what? I'm leaving on Monday. And so that means I got lots of stuff to get ready. And there's a few things that are coming up that I need to get ready for. And you will want to know what they are because I think you might want to be a part of some of them. Uh, our artist table retreats are so much fun. That's why I'm going to the Netherlands at the moment. And we're going to do that. But we have like great fun with great people. Here's some, some folks uh, that have been with us in France and Israel. Uh, here we're going to the Netherlands uh, in September. There's still room in there. And we do painting demos. We go to unbelievably beautiful places that you just will want to be there and just paint and look and be inspired. There's plenty of time to paint and just be on your own. We don't bug you too much. But you know what? We're there for everybody, no matter where we're at. We can meet you if you're a beginner or if you're more advanced. We can, we'll meet you wherever you want and work with you on your artistic practice and your goals. We can do that. Like I say, we go to these great places in France and the Netherlands. What we have coming up uh, on the way back, we're going to Beaver Island, Michigan. And Beaver Island, we will be there. Let's see. We'll be there from the 7th to the 14th of October. And on Beaver Island, there's beaches that we're going to paint on. There's woods and forests, sunsets, sunrises, and, and everything. There's a great ferry ride that you're going to get to get over there. It's the largest uh, island in Lake Michigan. And so it's going to be really uh, an adventure, an art adventure. There's some of our friends on the ferry. Awesome. In the harbor. And then just before that, we're going to do something that have, we have never before done. We've done lots of figure drawing stuff, but quite honestly, we've never, excuse me, done a retreat based on the figure. And so in my studio right here, where I am sitting right now from September 28th to October 1st, it's kind of a long weekend, we're going to bring the everybody in here for uh, to work from the model. And weather permitting, in the afternoons, we're gonna go outside and work from the model outdoors. This is uh, from a session that was held outside behind my studio. So I just wanna give a plug for that because it's an exciting first time thing. And for those of you that are local uh, to Michigan, know that we are going to put up uh, this week or today, hopefully we'll have some prices up there for if you just want to come to uh, individual sessions, like in the morning or just in the afternoon, just to do the outdoor thing or just to do the long poses at night, we're going to have individual session, individual section, whether you just want to do mornings or afternoons, or if you want to do just individual days as well as the whole thing. We want to make this really easy and friendly to be a part of. 
it's not very often that you have the opportunity to work so intensely from anything. You know, we work in our studios and we get uh, excited about what we're doing. And sometimes we get a little bit clogged up because we get in our own way. To get out and to see something new, to work something new, work with other people, to feel the energy that other artists have is really a special thing. And so I want to invite you to join us on our Artist Table Retreats. And what you can do, you can either email us at info at artisttableonline.com and we can let you know whatever you need to know. And also artisttableonline.com and click on the retreat uh, link and it will take you right to our retreat site. And there you can see everything that's coming up. We got great stuff coming up in 2018, too, that we're really excited about. So if you can't wait, be a part of what we're doing here in 2017. It's really exciting. Uh, You can always follow us on Instagram. Just go to Artist Table in your Instagram feed. Or you can go to and follow us on Twitter by going to Artist Table. Of course, our Facebook pages are somewhere where you can uh, follow us, Artist Table Online, Facebook, or our Facebook group around the Artist Table. We'd love to hear from you anytime. We appreciate you watching and being a part of what we're doing. Thank you, Belinda, for chiming in and everybody else that's been watching today. Uh, This has been our little short show because Tali uh, wasn't able to be here and And it's kind of a rebroadcast of what we tried to do earlier when the sound didn't work. So that said, I'm going to wish you all uh, fairly well and hope that we'll see you soon. I will be back next Tuesday on this screen, but I will be in the Netherlands in Tali's studio in Zvola. And so that's uh, what you have to look forward to it's what i have to look forward to and now i probably ought to go get ready because there's just maybe a boatload of things that needs to get done before i leave so if there's nothing else just remember the sketchbook show is online and you can get that at artisttableonline.com by going to the exhibition link thanks for joining me today i appreciate it And I hope you all have a great week. Go out and make some art. Have a great day. See you. Bye.